Hey guys, it's Jesse from Both Days the Airsoft, and one, I think one of my subscribers asked me uh, a comment saying, can you do a tour of your gun loft again? I call it a gun loft because it literally is a loft or a room. And I said yes, I'll have it out by Friday. So if you guys ask me questions, and I will try and answer them, and if you want a video, I should put it out there. Also, I'm going to be doing a video of I think like four loadouts, one light, one heavy, one full, one sniper, one recon, maybe five, I don't know. But that's gonna be coming up next. So if you ask any more or you guys want to see more, then just comment below and I'm trying to get more videos out. So here is my gun loft. So hold on, let me turn you around. You might see some um fencing gear because I am a fencer. So as you walk in see gun loft, T V room, walk up steps. This is my room. So, and plus I'm using it with an HD camera. So hopefully you can see it really well. There's the, oh, what's it called? ACOG, and then there's the M9 Glock still. And then that's just another case, M700. And I've actually used that in a game and shot a guy right in the neck from probably 275 feet. Really, really good because I finally fixed the, the magazine in here. So the review and shooting test is going to be coming of that. So I've got my um, scar and I got a knockoff AFG, but it still works and it still feels fine. So there's my scar and um, I'll turn around and do everything behind me. There's the APS UAR and I took it completely apart and here's the barrel. Oops, nah. Here's the barrel. Get off. Stupid thing. Here's the barrel. And it's actually not, uh, whatever it's called, not copper, I don't know, whatever it's called. It's, it's definitely some type of steel, and it's more, um, it's a lot better quality. So I took that apart, and if you guys want to know how to take that apart, I can take it apart to the last barrel, because nobody shows you how to get the barrel out on there, you think? So there's my propane, these two are full, and then here's my gas gas tube and then BBs, magazines. I've already told my first armory that I use these for packaging. And then here's my Glock RAS rail and I put the the little sight on it which works perfectly. Uh, speed loaders because I, I was doing a sniper game. Glasses, my really good glasses, different BBs. Um, chronograph sight and then glasses and then I keep the boxes so if I do a review on them. Diff these are the pieces that came with the helmet so in the review I'll show you that um, stuff for the new gun I'm gonna get and then the M700 parts and if you get bags for anything keep them if you wanna keep stuff in organized so AFG not AFG, PQ Pox part um, orange thing for the Glock walkie talkie, illuminated scope uh, uh, Glock carbine carbine kit which is really cool I gotta get a buffer tube for that and then I traded out my tools for, um, this is the battery compartment and some of the batteries aren't in there. And then this is the random accessories like flashlights and here's the extra spring from the APS UAR. Uh, random stuff like rail covers and old sights. And then here's like barrel covers and shoelaces that I use and old gloves. So nothing fancy there. And I got this. This is really cool. I looked up. I was in um, Disney World, uh, and I looked up, and I am the year of the dog, and I got this patch for like two bucks, so I'm going to put Velcro on it, put it on there, so I haven't taken it out of the package yet, but it's pretty cool, so I like it, year of the dog, yeah, but there's the airsoft, and all the people were giving me bull about that dogs don't have talons, I'm, I didn't mean talons, I meant sharp claws, I don't know why I said talons, so just to say that, um, a jamming rod soldering gun but I don't need the soldering gun anymore because I got these that's called a jet lighter and if you want to get those those are only two dollars at dealextreme.com I got three of them one to give my brother and two other ones you can adjust them you can fill them up with propane propane doesn't last as long but it's still good and it melts the solder in like three seconds so duct tape stuff like that and I took a stacker pad um, and put it on here so it doesn't move and it's a really good working environment light stuff like that um, Dremel, Dremel parts, old parts, fencing tip 
Um, two bipods for different cameras. The old 9-inch rail kit. An old, uh, um, an old airsoft uh, with paintball mask. And then this thing right here. I took off the, where is it? Took off the shield here. And you'll see what I'm going to be using this for in my loadout review. And it's actually pretty cool. And it works really, really well. So I put that back. Tactical vest. Uh, old tactical vest, I mean. Um, the version 1 and the version 2 of the face. This thing protects you a lot. Plus it feels 100 times better. So now I can compare them in reviews. Big knife. Don't have the case right now. <coughs> Excuse me. A harness. Um, Magpul quick um, Kydex M4 um, things. M4 mag things. My Emerson um, high speed helmet with goggles on the front. Navy patch. U.S. flag patch, uh, um, beacon on the back, and light on the front, I mean light on the side with the RAS that came with it. So when I'm playing night games that lights up the way so people know that I'm hit. Very good, very good helmet for the price. So, and I just have it in there. So there's Blaclavas, there's my um, belt, and then here's some magazine pouches. So, because I was doing a sniper game and I only I only wanted my ghillie suit and a battle belt So I put my helmet right in there. It stays there dump pouch um, If you've seen my um, my video of me cutting stuff up with this gun. I mean this knife. This is my K bar Tonto style Like that looks like a freaking samurai sword. It's awesome basically a diver's knife in the Tonto style because when I go diving so that's cool so Gloves. These are actually really good gloves for for the price. I got them at Nevike.com. Um, very fits very well. And then here's some replica Oakleys that you've seen in my reviews. Put that that way. Some worker gloves you've seen in my reviews. They're probably like 20 bucks at Home Depot. Um, shooting glasses or uh, whatever glasses and double M4 pouch panel panel for the M4 pouch. And then some guy asked where I got this. Um, ah. Let me just put that down. Sling. Sling. One point. Um, somebody asked me where I got this, and I got this at, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, um, Bass Pro Shops, and I put my Glock in there and fitted it perfectly. The plate I got at, um, at Airsoft Club, so you can look that up. Just put in leg thing. Lanyard. This. I got a whole box of tools for right now. Um, Tar 21. Um, SVD, which I've used very well, and somebody gave me bull about. You're not supposed to put that there, but if you actually look at Russian people shooting, they when they bench shoot, they put it right there, and then when they go out in the field, they put it right there. So I was bench shooting, obviously. Um, if you know, I'm wondering why I'm talking fast, I don't have a lot of time. Um, there's my Ithaca 20 gauge shotgun, the M4, the case with all my patches on there, USFA patches. And here's my BDUs, my BDU shirts, my hydration carrier, my um, axe, uh, right shield, evike.com, special thing, boots, gloves, ghillie suit, manuals, and here's my fencing mask. And I wanted to paint my fencing mask, just a random, random thing. So I painted this myself, USA. So I hope you guys like that. So that's basically it. So, let me turn the camera around. So, I hope you guys like my gun loft. If you want to see me do an actual uh, stuff, what is it called? Uh, an actual, um, if you want to know any of the prices, that's what I'm trying to say. Blah, I can't speak. If you actually want to know any of the prices, just private message me. If you want to know something specific on a, some, something specific in this room, private message me. But if you just want to say, hey, cool review, stuff like that then just um, do a comment. So I hope you guys liked the video, and this is Jesse from Blood Thursday Airsoft, and I am out. So if you, the hopefully the, the um, what's it called, the loadouts will be out soon. So bye guys, rock on.